Debbie Dobbins here. Welcome back to another episode of Your Wichita Falls. And I'm coming from my living room today dressed like I usually am all the time. You know, when I do these videos, I have makeup and I have a closer shot and all of that. But this is how you'll see me most days out there in the world because what I'm doing is I'm usually flipping a house or I'm doing somebody else's rehab or we're buying properties. And, you know, it doesn't take a lot of um, makeup in that to do those kind of things. As a matter of fact, I should be wearing my tool belt here. But what I want to do is begin to show you some of the secrets behind this real estate investing thing. But today I wanted to start talking about Mm, I'm thinking I'm going to have a naming contest instead of this old house, this sold house, because some of you know that I'm an investor in real estate as well as all the other things that I do. And I wanted to take you all behind the scenes of how to do that. Now that the real estate market has started to level off, it's time for you to learn how to take advantage of a really cool market that's just about to explode. My first trip down this experience, um, I decided to do a video with my friend Corbin. It's just gonna be a little video about this beautiful property, this 1920s home that he just bought, 1,700 square feet with a rental unit in the back, an apartment above the garage for oh, just over $100,000. Now, you are gonna go crazy when you see what I'm about to show you because it is so flippin' exciting what he's about to do, but you can do it too. We're gonna to have a whole playlist on how to do this behind the scenes, whether it's flipping or burring, which is buying and then renting with a rehab in between, BRR, or just buying rentals to hold or wholesaling, a whole lot of other things that are coming up. So I wanted to just start off with a little intro to Corbin because he's gonna show up on a lot of our videos of how to do this or do that, how to do things better, have amazing hacks for all of your real estate investment and how you can build wealth for your family legacy or your retirement. So stay tuned for this little video um, with Corbin in his brand new house and all the ideas that he's going to have. Stay tuned for the next video in this series because I guarantee you, I've got three flips going on right now and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and some of the progress that we are having. So I wanted to share with you first a little video that I just did with my friend Corbin. So I'm here with Corbin Malam, and we're looking at his brand new, absolutely stunning property in Wichita Falls that is going to turn into a absolute mansion. <laughs> but we're going to show you the before right now. So he's going to give us a little tour around, and we're going to start with just walking in the front door. So say hi. Hi. All of Wichita Falls and around the world because this channel goes around the world. So let's take a first look at the living space, which you can tell them just some bits like you tell me. Yeah. I want to, first of all, show you the rug. Well, you so, come on in. So here's the rug. So tell them about this rug. This rug is freaking amazing. <laughs> I just walked on it and my toes didn't want to get off. So it's so amazing. So... Well, that's tell a good me, thing. Tell this me a little is, bit about this rug. Yeah, this rug is from a company called Lulu in Georgia. Um, it's about $4,000 retail, but it's a great rug. So it's 11 by 14, wool, uh, tufted. It's got a really great um, pattern on it. So so soft. It's better than any carpet you've ever walked on. <laughs> but uh, the one thing that we're going to learn through the series is how to be Mm, cost conscious. I mean, literally, tell us how much you spent for the rug. So rug retails for about $4,000. Uh, this rug I got on Facebook Marketplace for $400, $500. That's I crazy. And see. I, I barter with people. So. Yeah, so this is the first thing to move into the house. There's nothing really much here, but we're going to look around because you've got this amazing hardwood flooring in here that is... Uh, absolute stunning in all of these older homes so you know the afters are going to show what the windows are going to look like he's going to get rid of these beautiful french doors that i'm so much in love with but um we come in here and in these uh 1920s early 1900 homes they all have these dining areas but if you see this you've got this great hardwood floor so we're going to go into the kitchen and then i just want you to share a little bit about what your vision is for this kitchen because some people might walk into this kitchen and go oh my gosh I don't think I love this, but you've got these amazing ceilings up here. He's got nine foot ceilings. 
I just went to Habitat for Humanity with him to see some amazing cabinets. And if I say amazing one more time, I'm gonna slap myself. So tell us some of the vision that you have just for this little alcove right here. Uh, so for this one right here, I have a dining room table that I really like. It's all natural wood, birch wood. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to remove the piece that was left with the original home and then add that in here. Keep kind of some of the architectural details that were done with the house originally, mm -hmm. but kind of gut everything else. Right. Um, all the cabinetry, while well, I love it, and I think that I have nine and a half foot ceilings. Oh, nine and a um, half, which yeah. Which is great. Uh, but I will take out everything that's here, and then I have about $23,000 worth of cabinets mm -hmm. um, that I've gotten, so I'll add those in here. The key piece for me when looking at this house was what is the flooring in the kitchen like? And so while we have linoleum and yeah, got linoleum on top, the original hardwood flooring is featured underneath this. And so taking all this up yeah. and refinishing the house, yeah. the floors throughout the home. So yeah. it's really nice to yeah. have that. Um, another thing that I loved about this was this really great vent hood area. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, you well, can't see nice. this as well. He's. Are you taking this out? Yes. Oh God. Yeah. This will go away. I do have. <laughs> that's a custom, too bad. Yeah, I do have a custom made uh, hutch piece that's from a company called Hooker Furniture. Um, <laughs> not to be confused. Not Hooker, like, um, Hooker Furniture, and so that will be featured here on top of the gas range that I have. I have a commercial gas range that I purchased for yeah. this area. Yeah. So, so all of this will go away, um, and will feature that big hutch piece that will go here. Yeah. So. so so uh, you'll have to re review this video when he does the after because we're going to do some progress videos but this is just I, I can't even tell you this space you will not believe what it's going to look like with his custom range and everything else that's going to go in here and on top of that what i really loved about the cabinetry that i bought was it had a very big entertainment piece or what would have been a pantry for somebody right. it's about nine and a half feet i think the cabinets are it's got one large cabinet that's about four feet wide by i think 10 feet tall I will put that over this entry right mm -hmm. here into the pantry and then make this a hidden pantry like you see in a lot of homes now. Ooh, um, hidden pantry. To make pantry. it more functional. So you can see space, this in here. But, yeah. but look at all this space in here. You, oh, it's kind of dark, but that's okay. So you can see. But it'll be... Speed. I mean, it'll be um, 007 kind of hidden entry thing. Yeah, I yeah. have um, a really nice uh, professional range, fridge. Um, I've got wine fridges. I've got dishwashers, warming drawers. Mm -hmm. I also have a microwave that's pull out that goes in a cabinet, not in a wall. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It has a drawer is mm -hmm. what it is. So that will be featured in here. And I kind of like where we're going with this space. Now, this is what I see in my head. Mm -hmm. It could change. Well, of moment. course. So yeah. If I find a custom made piece that I really like or something that's a great deal, I could change everything. Yeah. So. Well, and you aren't going to get to see the inside of his <clears throat> storage unit because there's all this stuff in there. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. We should do that next for sure. Okay. So let's go over here and see what we're going to do with uh, right this. Over here. Range over here. Yeah, range, or no, sorry, not range. Refrigerator. Uh, refrigerator yeah. will go here. And yeah, you got a big, tall space. So, I mean, you know, literally, you can take that cabinet out, you can put a refrigerator up to yeah. the moon. This is um, attic access for the house. Um, while and you I hardly see anything like that anymore. That is amazing. I do think that it's great to have it. However, I will change it. Um, no. I'll change the location of the attic access and mm -hmm. add a ladder with it mm -hmm. to make it more accessible for right. the new homeowner, which yeah. would be me. Yeah, be you. Mm-hmm. Uh, back here is going to be what would be the exterior facing door that goes to the outside for egress, as well as um, washer and dryer connections for the home. Yeah. Um, I will do, uh, I have really nice washers and dryers that have features of pedestal washer and mm -hmm. then also a pedestal itself. So a pedestal washer is something that's about 1.3 cubic feet mm -hmm. um, for a washer. So I use it for, uh, whenever I bought it, they buy, you know, they use for dish towels, rags, right. lingerie, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And mm -hmm. so it's really nice, but I clean a lot. So yeah. also in a well, and it's nice because I see a lot of houses that have uh, washer dryer rooms that are, you know, a size of a bedroom, which is just yeah. wasted space. So yeah. it's got a nice, compact, good little area in here. Now, the quaint thing, and what I loved about this house, and we haven't really featured it yet because you haven't seen it, but it does mm -hmm. have all these really great... Pocket doors. Pocket doors, but also solid wood doors that mm -hmm. have the same detail on each one. Mm -hmm. They feature brass hardware, um, and they have the same motif. And so we're, we were discussing earlier about those French doors in there. I do love the French doors in the house, but they don't go with the house mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. So we're getting rid of those. Mm -hmm. And then we'll all feature just this. Right. But we'll do, I'll probably wall this off um, and then make sure that it's got more cabinetry and storage up here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm getting rid of this door back here, and this will be part of the installation that's going to go in the front where those French doors are now. Right. So we'll go through there. You want to go through there? Just we'll make uh, a circle. Let's, let's, let's go, go over here. Okay. And then you'll, you'll okay. So we'll we see where we we'll end up. Okay. So if we come back in here to the dining room, or what will probably become my office. Okay. Um, 
right over here, we're going to have a hallway that leads to two bedrooms off of here. Now, the house was originally sold to me as a three-bedroom, right. um, one-bathroom. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it to be three-bedroom, one-bathroom. Yeah. I believe it to Neither be... Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it to be um, two-bedroom with what's going to be two bathrooms. But look at this bedroom. I mean, these houses, I love these old houses. You have a little hidey spot. I love these things. They're, I think this one's access to plumbing probably. It is. Okay. Yeah, but it's a little door with your access to the plumbing because the bathroom's on the other side, but it just always reminds me of like a Harry Potter kind of thing. I feel like I'm on a, you know, Queen Mary ocean liner, which is <laughs> super fun. But I mean, the thing I love about bedrooms in these old houses, because they're just classic, is they're huge. These windows are, when you have them open and you have all this light, is that your mail slot? Uh, it is for the house. I'm going to close it up. I, oh, I that's too bad. I don't want anything that's extra for the house yeah. or another point for something to get into it. Okay. Um, and so yeah. I'll go with a nice remote box on the exterior. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it just got, you know, all these little um, embellishments that you do, you won't see in a brand new house. Um, are my favorite thing. And of course, this hardwood floor. This hardwood floor is in some of the best shape that I've seen on hardwood floors in a house this old um, in a very long time. So yeah, and once it's refinished, this will look totally different. I have another client. I'll reach out to them and see if we can show you what the before and after of wood right. flooring is. This is white oak yeah. um, flooring. And so it's very, very simple to maintain once it's been resurfaced and refinished. Wow. Um, yeah. And put a box out. But I, I can't decide on the color right now, so we haven't started that Yeah, process. well, then you got plenty of time. My, my process is more, we'll move into the house, move things where they need to be, see what it is, and then we'll move it all out and right. we'll do what we need right. to do. Right, right. But look at these doors. These doors, first of all, um, just the solidness of this door, if I could just... You know, it's not uh, hollow. It is a stunning, amazing And you can't get this door. anymore. I mean, this is really, you know, this is a testament to craftsmanship from yeah. the 20s. Mm -hmm. um, you know, brass hardware yeah. uh, with a really nice patina. This with has the, paint on it, but... The skeleton keys. Yeah. Yeah. All that and stuff. I, love it. I mean, this mm -hmm. is just really, this is, you know, custom for what it was at yeah. the time. I mean, there's people that redo houses that would love to come in and get these doors. Yes, and you cannot have my doors. <laughs> you cannot have his doors. You can have the French And then we have a cedar closet, which is just... <laughs> I see this occasionally now with these older houses. A lot of times they paint over them or do crazy stuff. Yeah. But I mean, that's just um, things you just aren't gonna find in a brand new house. Yeah. And yeah. so for me, traditionally what I will do is I will start with closets first and customize those areas mm -hmm. so that way we can get all the little tchotchkes and things that we have and put them up. Mm -hmm. um, obviously you don't want your clothes hanging around while you're doing construction. Mm -hmm. but we'll start with closets and then everything else will come next. Yeah. So, okay. But I do love the doors. This door is gonna go away. Yeah, that's the one he's gonna wall in from the other side from the living space. Yeah, this hardware is not original to the door, so that yeah. will go away. Mm -hmm. This door will go away in general, and it will become where uh, the French doors are in the living room to the dining area. Um, it will become barn doors that will go back and forth. So oh. and this matches that door that I showed you in the um, laundry room. Oh, nice. So yeah. I have two spare doors, and they're not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> But I do love the doors and all the trees. Yeah, the doors are just amazing. Uh, this is a great place where you're able to see all the doors. Mm -hmm. so, uh, bathroom in here, which is kind of odd to me, the shape of it, but I do love the tub and I love the functionality that's in this room. Yeah, um, this is, I, it's, you know, not, there's no electric in here yet, but this is amazing, this tub. Yeah. You can't find, I mean, it is solid as a rock. It is. And it is, and then you, you can't see this very well, but you've got beadboard here, which he's probably gonna take out, but I think it's amazing. One of the <laughs> things that I did love about the bathroom, and you can't find this in um, a new house anymore because it would be technically illegal or not up to code, mm -hmm. um, is this is actually the tub filler right here. Yeah. Um, normally you would have what would be an overflow for a bathtub. And oh, right. Drain down here, but mm -hmm. I love the fact that I have water inlets right here. Both but hot look at and these cold. are the these are where the handles are on the wall on the yeah. side, which is so cool. Hot and cold, <laughs> and something else that's unique to this house, and what you got you really don't get to see anymore is this is actually the drain. This is what is the oh, stop. Oh, yeah. So this will open and close the drain. Okay. Cool. Kind of cool. Of course, it will go away. It's not functional for me. Yeah. Um, we'll take the tub and move it to here, and then mm -hmm. we'll put the vanity right here. Mm -hmm. Assuming I do that, I could change it. I don't know. I just yeah. don't like for things to be off um, balanced. Yeah. And then this will be just completely retiled and stuff. This yeah, thing, but shower, it's a nice little nice. spot that you got a shower there. Yeah, no, it's really nice to have, and it'll be good. This all goes away. Yeah. I've already bought um, a, a Kohler toilet. Mm -hmm. um, I have a James Martin vanity that will go in here, mm -hmm. and a custom tub from Kohler as well. Mm -hmm. uh, or not custom, but it's just you know, yeah. 
more mm -hmm. decorative than mm -hmm. anything else. Mm -hmm. um, this is a utility closet for the HVAC system. Mm -hmm. right and more of this fabulous door. Yeah, we love mm -hmm. it. It's great. And again, the hard roundings, they're just fabulous. You can't mm -hmm. really find this anymore. Yeah. Uh, going in here, this is the second bedroom mm -hmm. of the house, which will be the new uh, ensuite, uh, mm -hmm. primary suite. Mm -hmm. um, and so this room there, it does feature a closet behind the front door, or the walk-in door, Andrew. And you're going to close there, that off, right? This yeah, is, is this is door. pretty common for um, these, 19, these early 1900 houses, where they have it two doors going out. This could have been the considered the master suite at some point, but he's going to close that in, so that'll be interesting. And somebody had a fun little art project here yeah. and put these, well, built-in cabinets, which you're taking out, right? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> those will go away and we'll feature something else here. Yeah. Um, I'll either do a bed on this wall or I'll do a bed on this wall. Yeah. My goal would be really to fill this in, make it look like it's part of the house so originally here, add brick on the outside, and then mm -hmm. we are going to be taking out two windows from this house. Mm -hmm. um, and I may keep one and throw it in here so that we don't have to do too much brick work. Right, so, yeah. Um, but that could obviously change on a dime. Mm -hmm. so, I just like more windows in these areas. The right, yeah. room does feature a lot of great light that comes in, right. especially right now. We've got all the blinds shut and everything, right. but mm -hmm. it is a wonderful property and it's spacious. And so what I loved about this house was the amount of light that comes in. Mm -hmm. That compiled uh, with the clay tile roof which I'm sure we'll cover yeah. another time, yeah. um, really makes this house fabulous. And then mm -hmm. one of the things that we're going to do to make it even better um, and more energy efficient is add um, insulation in the exterior facing walls. Mm -hmm. So we'll envelope the house in foam. Mm -hmm. Plus, yeah. you know, you've got all of the modern amenities. Yep. You know, you'll have keep some classicness, yet you've got HVAC in here, right. which that house, this house didn't wasn't born with that. Yeah, so it wasn't. It's got they've all done that. a great job where they placed it. Um, a couple of things that has happened throughout the years is that somebody bought the home and saw a different vision for it. And so mm -hmm. whenever I toured the home, I automatically saw where they were going with it, and mm -hmm. I'm just taking it and tweaking it and making it that much better. Mm -hmm. So where they were featured a third bedroom, Technically, isn't really a bedroom. Um, we're going to make it into a, a, a primary ensuite bathroom mm -hmm. uh, for this room specifically right. itself. Yeah. And I'll show you guys. So that that'll be so. really so. This room cool. here, um, which is really great. So this is what they were considering a bedroom. This is what they considered a bedroom, but if you'll come over here and look at this, um, you'll see what I saw, which yeah. is two vanity lights. And so yeah. somebody was going to take this room and make it into a bathroom, bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, which I totally understand and respect, and that's what I see for the house, mm -hmm. and so that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So, and it'll be a beautiful master bathroom. I mean, you look at this, all of this space in here, and of course, you know, you'll have to do something with... I love windows in my bathroom. I don't care if I walk around naked. And you all can know that. But you've got beadboard on the ceiling, which is one of my favorite things. Yeah. And then there's a whole other little section in here that you just walk in closet, right? So this is that door that, that you're going into the laundry room. Right. And so that will become the new installation that's in the uh, main room going into right. the dining room with right. the other door from that other room. Mm -hmm. This will become a master ensuite closet yeah. from the primary bathroom yeah. uh, where the water heater was relocated mm -hmm. right here mm -hmm. uh, in this cedar closet, which is oh. what it was. At one Look point at the in time. cedar in here. Um, I will take the water heater, throw it into the attic, and then add a toilet here and make this a water closet. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so that way it's got a separate place with you know an exhaust fan for mm -hmm. whenever your partner goes number two or just right. stinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. And it's really nice. This obviously, whenever I look at it, and Debbie, you may be able to tell us from this stuff, whenever I see stuff like this in a house, I automatically think that this was a porch at one point in time that's yeah, been closed. Yeah, that could very well be. Um, just from the way that it looks, it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily have to be. I do feature in this house you know I have great uh, intakes and returns all over the house mm -hmm. and so to have a register here where I've got air that's coming into this room is just that much better yeah so, exactly yeah. anything not an add on you very lucky when you get extra HVAC vents and yes. stuff. So. Yeah, and they've all been added throughout the house, which is really great. So somebody actually took some time with this mm -hmm. house and spent the money that they needed to. Mm -hmm. um, I whenever I looked at the house knew that it was a house that I liked but I mm -hmm. really wanted to look at it and make sure that I had it and I, we went through a bidding war on the house um, after I got through the bidding war, I decided I'm going to pay more than what I wanted originally, uh, but I wanted it inspected. Once they inspected the home, the um, home was found to be uh, upgraded with both electric and oh, nice. plumbing. So that automatically saved me, you know, sixteen thousand dollars. That's right. And so that was the reason why I decided, yes, let's do this home, and at the price that they wanted, not the price that I wanted. <laughs> That's always good advice. Get a home inspection. One hundred percent. That and also, you know, you'll know from um, insurance claims or not insurance claims, but also getting out and reaching for insurance. Mm -hmm. You know, the cost to rebuild this house mm -hmm. is significantly more than building a new home. Right. Um, it's based off the qual 
quality of the right. house and uh, kind of how it was built at the time. Right. So you don't really get yeah. that same dedication to craftsmanship, which my company, Cambridge House Collective, does feature. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the outside on another video because I'm going to give you sort of whet your appetite because there's so much more to this house on the outside and the clay tile roof and there is actually a little um, rental space in the backyard as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Corbin go because unfortunately I have to run to an, a meeting and we're gonna come back and do the outside a little bit later. But I just wanted to tease you all a little bit because we're gonna see this work in progress, all right? So that's just a little taste of what can be done. The amazing thing is, is that he bought that literally for just over $100,000 and this will turn into an over 200,000, 300,000, I don't even know at this point because Corbin is amazing. He's an interior decorator, he's a contractor, a general contractor, he's, he's everything, just like me, he's everything. That's why we get along so well. So I adore him and I want you to stay tuned because our next video is going to be on a couple of my flips and the progress that we're having. I want you to stay tuned for this upcoming series that I'm gonna give online and in person of how you can be a real estate investor and make the money that you need to build your own wealth portfolio. So I'm so excited about this series and if you have any questions during the series or even right now, don't forget to schedule a Zoom meeting in the link below the very first comment because I'm here to share all of my secrets with you. So as I always say, y'all come back now, you hear?